this Flash and ActionScript 3 lesson, we show you how to use the progress bar component and attach it to dynamically loading items. That way it can listen and show progress. And also we show you how to have a status text that will show the load percentage as well. And I show you how to modify the look of your progress bar size and everything like that. Let me press control enter render out you see what happens so you can see this is listening to the percentage that's loaded so is our bar and it's customized the look of it and there's the image from the web okay let's create a new flash action script 3 file and let's adjust the size make it a little bit higher 450 440. Okay, now we're going to drag out from the components library the UI loader. And we're also going to drag out, well, first let's position and size this thing the way we want it. Let's make it 500 by 400. Okay. So that's where our image will be loaded into. And this time we're going to use the progress bar, focusing on this progress bar component. Let's drag that out to stage. And let's place it right about there. You can put this anywhere you want, really. It does not matter. And I'm going to double click inside of it. You can see you can get to all the little pieces. Double click inside of that. Let's change these to dark red. Now let's double click inside of this. Zoom into about 800. And let's double click in that group. Let's change the color of this gradient fill. Let's make it white on top. And dark red. Well, maybe not so white on top. Let's give it a little bit of red. There we go. Now this thing we can change from blue to whatever color we like. This also has a gradient. So they can be bright red. And on the other side of the gradient, dark red. Okay. Now I've customized the look of the component. Let's go back to scene one here. Now it still shows those blue lines on there but it's not going to be like that. It's going to be all red. Let's make this 300 so we can see it better and let's make it 10 pixels high. You can adjust the sizing of it too. Okay, so now we have our loader. Let's put a dynamic text field right here. Make sure we say dynamic text or make sure we select dynamic text here and make sure we have an instance name of status underscore txt because this will this text field is going to relay information to us well maybe we'll just put the percentage right there something like that and let's center align that let's make it black okay you can also embed that to make it look nicer for all users whether they have your font that you're using in that field or not press OK and now it's embedded into the file okay so now we have all of the elements we need let's give them instance names so make sure this one says progress bar let's make sure this one is instance name UI loader. So what's going to happen is we're going to load code in to load an external image into this UI loader and this progress bar is going to handle all the the loading display and uh, listening. Okay. I think everything has an instance name. We're good to go. Let's do some code. Okay, let's rename this layer. 
stage elements You can have as many layers as you need to hold as many items as you need. And this one, AS3 for Action Script 3. Now we'll highlight that keyframe and press F9, open the Actions panel. Everything has an instance name, so we can target all of those items now. Now the first thing we're going to do is claim a variable, a string variable that's going to hold the URL address for the image we want to load in to that U UI loader. Let's name it image URL colon string equals http www. I'm going to load a big image that I have at develop PHP uh, server and I'm going to load an extra large image just to show the progress bar a little better normally an image wouldn't be as large as the one I'm going to load in but I'm going to load an extra large JPEG I think it's about a megabyte and change that way you see good uh, progress loading from this load bar component this is SWF uh, demo images folder and the name of the image is Bella1 it's my little chihuahua okay now we close that up and put the semicolon okay now that we have that we can make a URL request variable or object and let's name it request this is URL request and then we plop in in between parentheses that string okay now we're going to claim a few properties for the UI loader we set there UI loader dot scale content we're going to set this to true that way my super duper large image or whatever size lim image that I choose to load into the UI loader will be scaled proportionately automatically UI loader dot load and here we're gonna load the URL request into that UI loader okay now we're gonna load the UI loaders not a bar. We're going to target the progress bar now that we placed on stage. And we're going to load the source of the UI loader's data, which would be that image. So this is going to equal the UI loader. So now the progress bar has a source data content of whatever was in the UI loader which was this JPEG on server okay now we're going to claim a couple of event listeners for the progress bar for the progress event and the complete event so let's see progress bar let's grab that that add event listener and this is going to be progress event dot progress all caps and put a comma now we're going to put the function name progress handler and we're going to create that function in a moment so right here on the progress event now we have a listener attached to the progress bar now let's attach another listener so let's highlight that whole line now this one is going to be a complete event so right here all caps we type in complete 
and remove this word progress on that event and this will be complete complete handler there we go now we have the listeners for the complete and the progress events attached to the load the progress bar now let's just create the function function let's do the progress handler first progress handler this is event colon progress event so we can just grab borrow it from right there put it right there close off parenthesis colon void open curly brace close curly brace now let's grab that function nest and put another function here this is the complete handler and this is going to be event event okay now we're going to use that status text field here to show the percentage of how much is loaded in and then the bar is going to show the percentage of how much is loaded in by doing its magic and showing uh, a growing bar okay so here we're going to feed the status text field txt dot text is equal to the current targets percent complete so all we have to do to claim that is make sure we grab the event whatever object is accessing this function dot current target and then it's percent complete there that, then you'll have the value and let's add to that let's give it a plus sign I'm gonna append to this string here and add the percentage sign there we go and close it off with a semicolon and actually you're going to want to turn this into an integer so let's claim int and put that in between parentheses there there now we have a nice integer and a string that's going to have the percentage symbol on the end of it and this is going to be animated and it's going to show us the percentage of what's loaded in as it loads okay so that's all we need in the progress handler and now we're going to add or remove these two event listeners inside of this complete handler function because they won't be needed anymore and actually remove the progress bar and the UI loader no we're not going to remove the UI loader we're going to add the UI loader sorry we're going to remove the progress bar and then add the UI loader to stage No, the UI load is already on stage. We're not going to add it dynamically. Sorry. We're just going to remove the progress bar. So let's say remove child. Open parenthesis, close parenthesis, semicolon, and grab this progress bar variable. Okay. Or instance name. Let's see. Now we want to remove these two event listeners so let's grab those two there remove the event listeners and then remove the progress bar there instead of add we remove remove event listener remove event listener and I think that's everything so now when we press control enter it should download that or not download but load in that image from the web into the application let's see make sure we got everything right well if it doesn't work we can fix it let's see control enter there it is you can see it's got a nice percentage 
Let's customize the color I made it. And so what we'll want to do is remove the status text. There's my little puppy. Okay, so, well, she's not a puppy, but she's tiny. So let's remove, make sure we remove that status text here, too. And that's very easy. Status text equals nada. You can just claim a string of nothing. That'll empty it out. Okay, let's try that again. Control enter. There it is. Okie dokie. So that shows you how to get a nice progress bar component attached to your items that are loading in dynamically from your web server. We'll see you next lesson.